Monsieur, here's what you ordered. It is the uh, beef let's play. Paper Mario, the thousand year door. This is a game which involves paper and Mario. Your two favourite things in one. So yeah, in the last episode, we talked to Flavio and he said that he had a ship that could take us to Keel Hall Key. Because he has similar interests to us in the way that he wants to go there for treasure. We want to go there for the Crystal Star, of course. But first, I'm actually going to do some of the troubles in the Trouble Center. Now, first off is this one. Elusive badge from question mark, question mark, question mark. So, yeah. Let's do this trouble. Now, if you just, after accepting it, if you go all the way over here. I know, it's such a long way. I mean, <laughs> why are we even bother? I mean, none of this actual quest, trouble, whatever you want to call it, will actually take much time or travelling, I promise. And hey Luigi, go away. I do not want to speak to you right now. So yeah. Heading over here on top of Zesty's roof, it said, is... Oh! It's Miss Mouse. How are you? Hi, Mr. Mustache Cutie. I'm the one with the trouble. Well, of course, she does like elusive badges, if you remember, in our previous encounters with her. Well, let me get right to it, okay? I've done all I can to find this one elusive badge, but I've failed at every turn. The badge is hidden in Hooktail's lair of that much, I'm sure. I went to check that room after I heard you defeated Hooktail, but nothing. I did hear rumours that to find this badge, one has to use the wind. <clears throat> use flurry. I think that's a translation. I have no idea what that means, though. Anyway, look for it, okay, sweetie? Alright, then. So, we're going to go all the way to Hooktail's castle, specifically the room where we defeated Hooktail. So, yeah, see you in a minute. Okay, so now here we are in the big bad room where we fought the big bad Hooktail. So now let's get up Flurry. I can't remember exactly where this is. Oh, it's here. That's fine. And oh, look, there's a chest behind it. And it has the attack effects B. I just want to equip this, just out of curiosity. I know it's not really ours. What am I doing? Badges. Okay, where is it? Can we not equip it? Really? Oh, you live and learn. You can't equip it. Okay, now to make the long journey back. Okay, so now, Miss Mouse, we found your badge. At face, does it mean you found the badge? Yes! What did I just say? Attack effects B, there you go. It's definitely the badge. Oh, yes. Now, my sweet, promise to hear me out without getting mad. You see, I was the one who hid the badge. It was a little game of mine. We did all that work for a little game. I have to apologize. Yeah, you do. But I knew you would find it, my handsome cheese hunk. Oh, jeez. You may have even more badge finding skill than I do. Well, yeah, of course. I just thought of something. Perhaps I should just travel with you from now on. What? Is Miss Mouse going to become a party member? Maybe, I don't know. Now, about that reward, let's see. Take this badge that you managed to find, but I expect you to lead me to more. Oh, okay then. Attack of XP. I'm not sure what the sound is, but I suppose I can try it out. Miss Mouse joins a party! Oh my god, who would have seen this coming? First Vivian, now Miss Mouse? Who next? Probably Professor Frankly is going to be on our team or something. Or Zest I don't know. Press X and Miss Mouse will sniff out any items or objects hidden nearby. Now, that's not the most useful thing in the world, to be honest. I guess it does have its uses, but yeah. Yeah, she tells you when there's a chest right next to you. How handy. <laughs> in battle, I can attack enemies with my love slap. Whoa. She's actually not too bad in battle. She's, you know, decent. And she can steal items, which is always helpful. You know, when you see, like, Four Hyper Goombas all with ice. The ice one, I forgot the name of it. So anyway, Miss Mouse, she's an optional party member. You don't need to get her, but, you know, it's kind of nice to, if you want. And I'm actually going to upgrade her because... Just because. Because I can, okay? And I'm not going to upgrade Flurry because she's Flurry and we don't want to upgrade her. So, yes, we want to upgrade Miss Mouse. Yes. Shazubi! Shazubi! Hmm. 
No, I don't want to power up more. Leave me alone. Okay. So, now that we've done that, we can pretty much go to the harbour now. So, I'll just go there right now. Okay, so let's talk to Flavio. What you got to tell us? Ah, yes, so it is you. Well, sadly, a slight problem seems to have popped up. Hmm. But feast your eyes on this outrageously fantastic ship. She is a fine vessel, no? And he'll just rant on about his ship. But we want to hear about the problem, because that's what is important here. Did you speak? Yes, yes, of course. The problem that has sprung up. I had completely forgotten about it. The SS Flavion, she bewitches me. Yes, well, here is the issue. We have no navigator. He ran off, the dog. Dogs don't run off. Well, they do kind of sometimes. The navigator, of course, is the highest ranked helmsman. They steer ships, you know. Really? Now, here is the problem. The waters around Kill Hill Key are deathly dangerous. We need an absurdly skilled helmsman for our navigator. It is, how you say, a pickle. Okay. So, we need a new navigator. And here, Patch here says that there is a navigator in Rogueport, a highly skilled, legendary navigator called Admiral Bobbery. So we should probably go find him. Yeah, let's find him. Problem solved. Yeah, we need to go find him. As I just said. Okay. And who's that guy on the right of the ship? He looks suspiciously like someone we've seen before. You must find this Bobbery and bring him here. Our fortune sails with you. Alrighty then, I'll show you where he is, just cutting to that in 3, 2, 1, now! Okay, so head on over to East Roadport, go over this gap, we've done this before I believe, and we need to go on top of this house. Now, using our paper tube ability, we can get through this chimney. Now, the door to this house is locked, I believe I've shown that before, and here he is, Admiral Bobbery, the one and only. What do you blokes want? Hmm. You seek Admiral Robbery. Never heard of the gent. Wait, but aren't you Admiral Robbery? Take your search elsewhere. Okay. And he unlocks the door, so I guess we don't have to sneak in all the time. Although, going through here, I'm just going to ignore his orders and get this Shine Sprite. Hooray! Got a little Shine Sprite every now and then. So. Oh, he just does the same thing. I'm just going to hit you with your hammer for being annoying. Okay, I've switched up my badges a bit now. I've got this sound on now. It sounds like a toy hammer. I kind of like it though. I don't really know why. But anyway, we're kind of stuck. So let's ask frankly what to do. He will know. And also, check his bin if we get something. Yeah, about Gus, because we didn't tattle on him. So yeah. Bobbery. That old sea dog lives in the east side house next door. They say he was a great and important sailor long ago. So you're not going to help. Why? Frankly. God darn you. Maybe we should just talk to Bobbery again. Hopefully he won't just... What the... What the okay. There we go. So yeah, people are saying he lives here. So we've got evidence now. Admiral Bobbery. I have in the fingers. I do. What are you talking about? Drop the axe, super stash. We already found out that you're Admiral Bobbery. Frankly said so. And frankly never lies. What poppycock? Tell me. What would you want with me if I were this chap? You say your ship needs a navigator and you want me to do the job. So sorry, but you'll have to look elsewhere. I shall set sail upon the sea nevermore. But that's just not cool. You want to see me beg? Is that it? Yeah, we do need him. There's no other way. Awfully sorry, dear boy. When I say no, what I mean is no! Okay. No need to get your bomb in a twist about it. That didn't even make sense. What's the next move, Chief? This salty dude is going nowhere fast. I can't figure this guy out. What's his beef with the ocean, anyway? You know what we ought to do? Find someone who knows what this dude's deal is. Hmm. Well. Think about it. He look, He's kind of depressed. Depression. Could be, you know, crippling alcoholism. So, <laughs> let's go ask the barman, obviously. Because, you know, it's just a logical thing to do. Hello, Mr. Prune. You say Bobby won't go to the sea, huh? Well, can't say that surprises me. The real question is, are you folks really sure you want Bobby back on the water? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. Oh, is that it? Now I see. You want to mount an expedition to Keelhole Key. Rough seas out there. Most sailors would meet their ends. Not old Bobbery, though. That's why we need him, Mr. Prune! The fact of the matter is, Admiral Bobbery's tale is sad. Horribly sad. You'd probably end up crying. 
Well, I've got some handkerchiefs ready. I'll tell you if you want to. Yes, please do. In that case, get ready. Bobbery's tale of woe goes something like this. Bobbery was once married. He had a wife of enduring beauty named Scarlet. The two of them were madly in love, the sort of love reserved for fairy tales. Now, Bobbery was a renowned sailor, so he was away from home for long periods. Scarlet never complained, though, and always waited faithfully for Bobbery's return. Bobby's Bobbery. And Bobbery, his eye never drifted. He loved only Scarlet, truly and deeply. Well, that's nice. So they lived and found happiness where they could, and always good for a time. But not all the good things can last. It was a particularly icy winter when it happened. Scarlet fell ill, a virus, a passing cold. No one knew, but it soon turned serious. Bobbery, at sea on a long, lonely voyage, knew nothing of his bride's suffering. By the time he returned, Scarlet had succumbed. She was gone. Bobbery, of course, blamed himself. My living wife perished because of me! If I were not at sea, I could have nursed her to health. I could have saved her! Well, this is quite sad. He was overcome with such thoughts. They tormented him always, haunting his sleep. He's never gone out to sea since. Well, I guess that's a good enough reason. We'll just end the game here. No. That is not an option. Gee, what a down. I guess that's a pretty good reason for hating the ocean. You all know his tale now. So tell me, do you still want him to return to the sea? We do not have a choice. If you're that determined, then I'll give you this. A free drink? Oh no, an old letter. The letter Scarlet wrote to Bobbery on her death. Why have you not given this to him already? Doesn't he deserve to have this? Scarlet wrote Bobbery a final letter. I don't know what's written inside. If I should succumb to this plague, and if my love should blame himself for my death. Then give this letter to him, so he may hear my voice. It was her last request. But when I saw Bobby in misery trying to forget the pain as he mourned his wife, I just couldn't bring myself to pretend this Really? Over this whole time, you couldn't bring yourself to do that? It was her final request. It's like, the, the least you could do is at least fulfil it. Anyway, ignoring that pruny, prune, dick hole, let's go give this letter to Bobbery, because, you know, it's what he deserves, and hopefully it'll somehow convince him to come out on the ocean with us. So, this is his house, correct? Indeed. Oh, by Blabberton's beard, not you again! Yeah, but we have a letter this time. Pardon, a letter you say? For me? Scarlet! This is Scarlet's handwriting. You haven't even opened it yet. Okay, now you have. Scarlet, my love. My love, if you're reading this letter, then I am no longer by your side. Because fate has stepped between us, I've decided to write you this letter. If you're reading this, I must have passed away while you're out to sea. I can only assume that you will blame yourself for it, my sweet Bobbery. Although my life is short, you give me more than a lifetime's worth of joy. Though you will mourn, I beg that you remember that time, like love, is a tide. You are one with the sea, as you are one with me. Do not lose both of your life's loves. Thousand pardons, but may I have a moment alone, if you please? I was happy. My sweet, sweet Scarlet, I love you still. Now then, you are looking for a navigator, I believe, bound for Keel Hall Key. Oh, yeah. oh yes, Bobbery is now, you know, with us. We have a navigator. We don't need to, you know, not get to Keel Hall Key. Well worded sentence. The ship's in the harbour, huh? Yes, let's go there. Yeah, we'll meet you there, Bobbery. We'll meet you there. And here he is, Bobbery's on board. I knew you would get Bobbery on board, you wonderful moustached man, you. Oh, thank you. To you, I must say, ahoy hoy! I was wise to choose you as captain. My men have already loaded our cargo and supplies. Yes, preparations are complete! Well, let's go then! What are we waiting for? Yes, let's go. Very well, to the sea! Raise anger and set sails with thrills and emotion! Okay, Keelhaul Key. Wait up! Ah, oh, we nearly forgot. Good old Bommy there. 
Bombs McGee. And suspicious guys on the front of the boat. I forgot what you call the front. I'm not I'm not a very boaty person, I guess. An X Not. This is X Not one here. Come back, dude. I repeat, X Not one here. Over. Rudder, reading you fire by. Infiltration is successful. X Not Black aboard the vessel. Repeat, X Not Black is on board the vessel. So that's what that suspicious guy was. An X Not. Chapter 5 The Key to Pirates Over the protests of my crew, the SS Flavian has set sail. Is this voyage as reckless as they say? Ah, I must go Flavio will show them guts. I like the way they do the month and day thing here. I think they did that in Paper Mario 1 as well. It's kind of weird, but I don't know. It's as if they are blessing our voyage. Love you, thanks for me, totally. Okay then. Some excerpt excerpts from Flavier's diary. Things are going smoothly, yet I'm filled with dread. Okay. At this speed we should reach our destination by tomorrow's sunrise. So right about nearly now, or maybe not. School captain casts his gaze, red jewel shines and plays, boom basta boom festival. The stash prize best of friends, we turn And he's just singing, I don't know. Some random tune. Yes, now we are talking. Flavio told you not, nothing to fear, no. The island is right before our eyes. It is a mountain of treasure. Treasure. I can't say anything. I feel fabulous. Shall I tell you one of my many tales of raw bravery? Um, rather not, to be honest. So yeah, he's just going to blab in the background. I swear he's closing his eyes as well. He's just so into his story. There's no to escape to. We just have to listen until he's finished. <laughs> yes, if you interrupt him mid-story, he absolutely loses it. Okay. Why is there creepy music? Awful sorry to interrupt that story. But the ship stopped. Ah, stopped, you say to me, after interrupting a story of passion and fury? Shut up about your damn stories, it's more important. Oh, why, I Flavio, I'll get on it right quick, wait a tick. How did you climb up that? You didn't even have arms! Jeez! Okay, so he's looking from side to side, and what the hell? Yeah, yeah, I'm working on it. Just wait a goomba stomp and moan at you, scaly words. Oh, and it's gone. What was that thing? Oi, quit shoving, eh? I'm working over here. I said quit shoving! <laughs> That's what the sound I imagine he'd make. Would be. The, 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 the area! What is this rubbish now? Who is here? Will someone tell me what is going on? Holy Jesus! No, no, they're upon us, the pirate ghosts! This is not good. All of them rumors were true. What do we do? We gotta get out of here! Did you panic yourself? This is just a dream that we're all having awake. That sounds likely. And now there's millions of them. Oh, ghostly ooing thing, are you really the savage pirate king? Aye, help me! And he turns as blue as the ghosts themselves. Look up now, everyone, remain civilized, relax, don't panic! Relax, 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 I say, you simply must take it easy! How are we gonna take it easy when we're being attacked by ghosts? Form an orderly line without shoving. Okay. So yeah, abandoned ship. So get out of here. Jeez. This is not going well. So yeah, good start on our keelhole key voyage. Wow. Fortune from disaster. The kindly sea washed us ashore. 
What strange irony that this island was our intended destination all along, no? But how are we going to get back? We have lost three crew members, including Admiral Bobbery. Oh no. Pains me to think they were taken by the Pirate King, that ghostly thing. Intentional rhyme, maybe? I don't know. What happens with now? We may be lost without hope. We have made a semblance of civilized life here. The ship's flotsam washed in, and we have salty bread and other salty things. I think flotsam's like, you know, the shipwreck kind of. Well, not really a shipwreck, because it's not underwater, but. You know what I mean. The remains of the ship. At least the shanty keep out the wind and rain. We shall have no sign of Bobby and the others, and my heart, she doubts. Alright. Three days on the isle now, and the huts are all finished. So they kind of make their own civilization, which is pretty cool, on the island. Oi, Captain Stash. What is it, Patch? It ain't much, but we've finished a wee hunt for you to rest in. Hut, not hunt. Come have a look. Alright then. That sounds like a right good plan. Actually, first thing I want to do... Probably one of my favourite things ever in the whole game. If you come over here, does this dude hit him? Don't hit me, and I give you a whack a bump. Plenty is 25 HP and 25 FP. Now, if you leave the area and come back, you can get another one and another one, but you can't get more than eight. So you know, after your eighth one, that's kind of it finished. And I believe there's a star piece. Yep, there she is. I'm actually going to get two more. Wait, what am I doing? That's not the path. I want to get two more Wackabumps. So I'll have three overall. So I'll just do that quickly. Captain, please help us. Flavio and Patch are in a huge fight. Well, this isn't good. And what about you, Squinty? You turned to jelly when you saw all those ghosts. Ah, they're just arguing about nothing. Did you just call Great Flavio the Fancy Pants? Well, that's kind of true. Fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants, fancy pants! No, oh, you little cyclops! Flavio demands satisfaction. You, me, hammers at dawn! Okay, hammers at dawn. Could be kind of fun. They're here! The ghosts. And them ghosts are back! Well, this isn't good. They're invading the town. Mario, front and center. This is an order. Take care of those ghosts. Okay, then. I'm sure they can't be too bad. I should probably tattle on them, though. Now, you're not going to want to jump on them, because, you know, they're kind of made of fire, and that wouldn't be a good idea, would it? So, they have less than 8 HP. We know that. I'm going to swap to Goombella, so we can tattle on them. Oh, no, yeah, the... The curse, I actually replenished that off-screen in Route 4. I kind of didn't mention that, but I said I was going to do it anyway. So yeah, increase our defense. That's good. Aha! He couldn't do anything to us. We are invincible! And the timing on these moves is kind of difficult. Okay. Let's just power smash this one. I'm not sure if we need to power smash them. We might only have... Is it 6 HP? Yeah, I'm not sure. So anyway... We'll find out in this tattling. That's an ember. Sort of a pale blue flame spirit. Kind of spooky. 8 HP. So, yeah, 8 HP. 3 attack and 0 defense. Of course, this thing is a flame. Touching it will hurt. Didn't Mama teach you that? Well, she did. But yeah. And as always, I don't get swapped. Whoa. This is a different move. It burned Goombella. How dare you? You're going to die. No one burns my Goombella. Don't know why she's my Goombella, I mean... I know she's a party member, but she's not a slave. So there we go. Not too bad with um, two power plus badges, but <laughs> you know. Yes, you're a blooming beast, Captain Stash. Well, thank you. To really celebrate, no, there are surely more of them elsewhere. Someone must investigate the rest of the island. Yes, that is what must be. As leader of this, as blah blah blah. As leader of this expedition, I, of course, should stay here. Well, okay. Obviously, not wussing out. Of course, Maru. Yes, we'll do it then. 
just because you're too lazy to do it. Okay, I'm just going to go to the shop here, just because I want to deposit an item, because we need a slot for later. I'm not going to deposit any of these whack bumps they are awesome. Actually, I'll deposit that honey shroom as well that we got from ZST. Not especially the most useful item, but you know. So anyway, moving on. Actually, this episode's gone on quite a long time. So I'm going to end this off right here. If you enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe to keep up with this series. I'll see y'all next time.